just gonna make narrow and windy roads. We are Andre and Lisa, a married South African Italian couple who have been traveling together for almost 20 years to more than 40 countries. Over the past year, we have traveled through 11 countries in Europe with our 20 year old motorhome. Please subscribe to follow along and join us on our adventure. Like good parking, <laughs> and there's probably a mirror in there as well. Yeah, look, it's tight. I mean, but I think it's a sweet spot. <laughs> I'm sure, this guy's a his fancy Tesla, or whatever it is, doesn't mind. <laughs> now, this is how you visit the fjord, you just drive right into it. <laughs> sure, got you. So, we're gonna get, well, actually, we've got some time now. The ferry, ferry's only departing oh. in a while. Glad. We can actually relax. It's not the worst view in the world either. No, I mean, this is like a bloody beautiful stop. Never yeah. mind. Might not leave you. Maybe we'll just stay here. <laughs> Why would you move if you have this? Sure. We can uh, go hike here. Oh, here comes our ferry. Oh, we got to run. Good. Down, eh? Okay. Oh. Camera's a bit salty. <laughs> so are we. We arrived in Fiorli and it took about 40 minutes. I no, guess. it took an hour. It was supposed to be 50 and it took an hour. So we took the passenger ferry from Columbus from uh, Lovic to Fiori and it cost us 20, 220 uh, kroner for both of us return. So it's a very reasonable 11 euro return ticket. Now we've got three and a half hours here in Fjordi. We don't know yet what we're going to do because the problem is if you want to climb the four and a half thousand steps you need four hours. We only have three and a half hours. Well, I was pretty keen, that's actually why we picked Florley but the truth is afterwards we realized just how high four and a half thousand stairs is and I'm a bit scared for that and the time limit. That's the biggest problem because there's only one ferry here and one ferry back. And this is only doable on a Friday and a Sunday because yeah. the rest of the days there isn't even the return ferry. Bit of a problem, you have to stay over or make it come with another company or something. Mm. But we're going to look around here maybe we'll climb the first half of the, the stairs yes. and then we'll go to the viewpoint and otherwise we'll try and get to the, the point maybe we should try and get to the point or also just see if we do the stairs if we can come down them or not because i okay. think the stairs are only one direction yeah. goodbye thanks for the ride <laughs> Lisa says she's gonna do it. We're gonna do the first 700 and see how it goes. Are we doing this? Okay, it's 10 past three. Baby, you've done this around. Lisa, Lisa, around. 50. Huh? 50. You've done 50. Listen to this one. Excited. There's 4,400 steps, by the way, guys. We're only gonna do 700, apparently. 700? That's kind of fast. Lisa's too scared. I mean, we don't have time. <laughs> we don't have time. It takes four hours. This railway here was constructed for. Part of, can you remember? Hydroelectric. 
No, you can't talk to me, I'm oh. concentrating. Okay, we're concentrating. Right, let's climb a little bit. There we go. Good job. How the freaking hell do I get there? There's a walk platform right there. Guys, now you see now why we're not climbing to pick a stool. We're doing any other hikes. Why the hell do they make us do that? <laughs> <laughs> people? Come baby. Come on, you can do it. It was just... We're 290. Getting in our zone. We made it. Well, we made it to 310. <laughs> if we were doing uh, 4,400. We failed. This is already got booty chili legs. Hey darling. No, like it's not re logic or reason. If you got fear of heights, it's just some of those, one of those things. You, it's not as simple as just ignoring it. I mean, I've been hiking with Lisa for long enough to know that you get something triggers it and it's very difficult to get past that moment. Just go take it easy, take your time, but it doesn't make it easier necessary. See, there's a walkway up there. That's where you're gonna bail. Well, this speed, we're not gonna make 700 <laughs> steps in two hours. Never mind <laughs> one hour. So look, look up past my head. Look up. I'm hold on to you. Yeah, yeah, of course. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad we are doing it. I think I know I'm going to make it to the top now. It's always that balance of pushing yourself out of your comfort zone and doing this, but not too far that you crack and break because then you feel worse. You need to gain confidence and not feel worse. I think so one of the things that appealed to us coming to Fiorli was that we knew there wouldn't be a lot of people. The 100 to go! <laughs> the craziness that is Laser Fort in season is just something that's completely off-putting. And yes, yeah, so although you don't standing on Brickstool, which I don't recommend, well, which most people don't recommend in season, at least we're getting to take the ferry see the fjord experience a little bit of the the nature around us oh my god 80 to go <laughs> and for the most of it it's very peaceful if we make it 20, 20, I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it so that's the other reason why we're not doing any trail that's got a lot of tourists because you add that as pressure and it's impossible. <laughs> ten more to go. Honey, I need to break that's it here, but ten. You, <laughs> you might need to do more than ten, but uh, don't worry about it, just keep going. I made it! I made it! What? What? Oh shit, you haven't seen it down yet. Ooh. That was gonna be fine. Ooh. Ooh. That was easy. Thanks for being patient, love. Oh, we gave up all these stairs. Yeah. We did it. Beautiful. Come on, son. Where are you? Yeah, no. No. yeah another three and a half thousand steps to go. Ish. Oh, next time. Let's get you down. Are you going first? Okay, let me go first then. It's like, at it least you're close to the ground here. It doesn't feel like you're keeping on an edge. I just... No, baby, you can't do that. Oh, shit. You have to stand up, my dear. I'm not going to be able to like this. I can go fast. Okay. Just take your time then. Alright. I don't think that's a very efficient way of doing it. But, hey. Uh, these things happen. I can't like, get my body to stand, to like not wobble. You want me to give you a hand then? No, it's okay. I can do it like this. Let me go inspect the route forward so long. Hopefully it gets better. Sure, it's gonna get much better the moment we're down the section. We didn't actually come prepared to hike, it's the only problem. Just gonna see. No, it looks alright actually. <sighs> I don't know if it's better to stop or just keep going. I see I end up with very dirty jeans at the end. Oh, you could really should get up. You can't go on your bum like this. It looks bad, but it's really not. Okay. Look at the park! Walk in the park. It's muddy actually. That's squishy. Oh, very squishy. Oop, oop, oop. Oh, okay, stay on the top. <laughs> don't go on the squishy side. It's the staircase. You're going to the movies. The movies? Yeah, yeah. You're walking down the stairs to the movies. Why do we go downstairs to the movies? 
Okay, you're going upstairs? The movies are downstairs, all right? It's a private uh, movie house. I've never been to a private movie house before. Well, it's your first time. Well, I can say, Flori, yes, thank you for building wooden bridges. I was just wondering, how we get across this ravine? Hopefully there's a good bridge there. Fingers crossed. <laughs> we especially went so bouldering on in Sweden to train Lisa for the hiking, but we need to get your stretchy pants, man. Those are panels. Serious hiking boots. That's gonna like make you feel like a real hiker. Well, we're so close. You see, there's a little path there. How do we cross the ravine? I don't know. There's a bridge. I see a bridge. There's one more small obstacle before we get to the bridge. Oh my god, this is gonna freak out. I think I'm doing it. Oh god. Right, so you can take the fast route or the long route. No, definitely the fast route. All right. I've got to do this on my feet though, I think. So you want me to go in front of you? Yeah, you're going to go in front of me and have one hand on your shoulder. If I fall, let go of me. No! Don't follow me. I'm going to grab your backpack and pull you back up. No, I don't think you will. Beautiful, yeah. What do you say, dear? Look, this guy. That way. <laughs> no. Uh-uh, this one, right here. <laughs> All right, let's uh, see what's around this bend, though. Ooh, hello, laser fort. Oh, it's all hazy. Look the coolness coming through, yeah. And we have it all to ourselves. That's the nice part, I guess, uh, from coming to Fiori. <gasps> And we can see this beautiful waterfall over there. Mm. Look at that. So you can't see it, but we were on the boat. You could see sort of the tip of the Brekestulen poking out there. <laughs> we're sitting here with this view. None of you guys can see. No soul around us. Just listening to nature. And we, yeah, we're bitching and it's so busy here. Uh, and there's a reason why we don't want to go into that Brekestul in the distance. Because there's probably, what did they say, how many thousand people a day? Three or six. Oh, that's oh, bad, no, bad. A lot of thousands. And I was actually still contemplating doing it maybe tomorrow or the day after, but after sitting here for five minutes, I know no. I don't want to be there. No, this is, this is great. So we're going to just hang around for the next hour, take our ferry back. Millie, we're going to stay right there tonight, I think. We it's are not moving. Spot. <laughs> not moving. When they're eating, they're not fazed for anything. They are, like, not focused. Hey, Mr. Sheep. I think it looks like a good morning for fishing. Isn't like fishing it. always done when it looks quite ominous? Looks like a good morning for staying in bed. I think I vote for that one, too. So are we going to Stavanger or not? Mm, <laughs> look at this weather. Yeah. And we won't be going anyway. I think bed, with this view. And look at the pretty purple flowers. Okay. Bye. 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 You want to? Oh yeah. Rainy, rainy, rainy day. Glad we decided to stay inside today. Yeah. Okay, well not so much decided, but it was decided for us. Waterfall out here. 
We need to go hiking to waterfalls. We just create our own. <laughs> Maybe we have a slippy. That's why it looks like a waterfall. Well, that's good. At least I'm sitting on the roof. Well, at least we got a view. I mean, like, let me show you guys. Let's try not to ride off the hill. At least we got a nice view of the rain falling. You did say our main goal is to escape the heat of the European <laughs> summer. <laughs> now I'm going to stick, stick. We get that. We success. <laughs> I don't know about this snowy thing. <laughs> I mean, you know, even if it has amazing nature and views and landscapes, and I, hikes. Can't, I can't see it because it's constantly raining. We still don't know what we're going to do, but we're definitely not heading for the north. I think we've decided that much. We keeping on the weather looks terrible. For next week, it's going to rain every single day. We're sitting here doing our taxes for the year. That's how bored we are. That's bad. Well, anyway, that's life on the road for you. But at least we got a nice view. Hopefully, the sun's out tomorrow. But there's a small window. We're going to hopefully make a nice drive in a general direction of somewhere <laughs> where we actually need to speak to, see if we can just speak to a mechanic about our, our rear brakes. We need to find a service point for the van. Just get some water. We'll figure it out tomorrow. And we need to find a shop. I'm just going to buy ice cream. Don't be that bad. We're eating ice cream. <laughs> anyway, so see you guys tomorrow. Look at this. Yum, yum. <laughs> now we're going to see everything else that's wrong. We have a problem. We just don't know. Is it going to take five days, three days, or five weeks? <laughs>